Good morning, Booktubeathon. So it is like 8:15, and um, excuse you, excuse you. I haven't started reading yet, um, but I'm getting ready to go feed the kittens and um, then get my day started. I don't know if I'll get know if I'll get any reading done this morning. I definitely will get audiobook listening done, and I'm almost done with Ship of Magic. I should finish it this week, so that's exciting. Um, but I probably won't get any reading done until after work. I might get some done at work. We'll see. Mondays are usually kind of busy, so. Maybe not. So I actually got some reading done today, surprisingly. Um, and I read mostly, actually I read all of it in Americana and I am really, really enjoying it. Now I'm gonna go hit up some pokey stops before I go home. Do you see that? That craziness back there? It's not gonna focus, but it's just like nonstop pokey stops and like all of them are lured. Who are these crazy people and what are they doing on a Monday? Like, I just don't even know. Anyways, so I'm gonna go try to get some stuff before I go home. Ooh, a Venonat. So I, oh, there's a cat here on the list. <laughs> so I have listened to quite a bit of, um, Ooh, almost knocked it off the couch of Ship of Magic. Look how close I am to the end. So I will definitely finish this this week um, and then I'll be able to move on to, or yeah, Ship of Magic. And I'll be able to move on to the second one in the trilogy. So that's exciting. I did not realize that I had moved that far into the book. So yeah. And then um, we have these pallets on our porch that is like a kitten jungle gym and it is the freaking cutest thing. So rewards for being a crazy cat lady and feeding the neighbors stray kittens is that I get to watch them bounce around and roll around on my porch at night and it's freaking adorable. I love them and I wish I could keep them all, but at the same time I don't. I want them to go to the shelter and get real forever homes. And Simon really wants them to go away. Don't you, buddy? So I started reading my After Sunset book. It glows in the dark. I tried to show you on the camera and it didn't work. It does not pick that up very well. But it's so cool. And I'm already super interested in this book. Like, I'm only 10 pages in, but I already am super interested in this book. And if I didn't have to work tomorrow, I would totally probably stay up until like 1 a.m. reading this. So, good pick for After Dark. Now I'm going to go to bed. Alright, so it's 10 a.m. and I have done very little reading. I read about 12 pages in Persuasion. I did start this before the readathon, um, so I'm about a quarter of the way through. So hopefully I will finish this so that I can watch the adaptation, because I'm really excited about watching a Jane Austen adaptation this weekend. So um, I should be able to finish this one this week. I'm glad it's it's a shorter one. I've had very little success with reading today. I think I've read like 50 pages or something, and most of that was audiobook listening in the car. What is happening here? Um, I read 10 pages of Persuasion this morning, and then I listened to audiobook, and that was pretty much it. I think I might have read a little bit in um, Americana. Yeah, I did. I read a little bit of Americana. Um, but yeah, not really doing so well with the book tubeathon but what can you say um it's hard to read at work so that's most of it is that i don't have really a lot of time to read at work and what time i do i just like don't feel like reading because it would have to be in short little bursts like five minute bursts and i just i don't know i i can't do that as well as i'd like to um i should be in the mood for it so i haven't done much of that um I haven't read a lot of my After Sunset book either because I tend to come home and then my husband and I go on pokey walks around the neighborhood to collect Pokemon and then by the time we get done it's usually like 10 30 or something and then I have to be asleep a little after 11 so I don't get hardly any reading done right now. I have such an addictive personality so with things like Pokemon it's like I 
end up just like forsaking all my other hobbies and just like doing that one thing. So that's kind of been my life right now and I'm okay with that. I'm gonna have to seriously resist the urge to read my After Sunset book right now because I really was, an enjoy, was enjoying it last night and then I got tired and went to sleep and I really want to keep reading it because it's really good. So I may end up reading it mostly after sunset. We'll see. Um, I am, it's between that or reading some more in Persuasion, but Mr. Penumbra is so fascinating and I want to know what's going on and it's weird and I like it and it's a pretty quick read. So yeah. So I am almost done with the ship, wait, Ship of Magic? Yeah, with the first book in the live Ship Traders. I am almost done with that. And then um, I am gonna move on to the second book in that trilogy. Things are getting crazy really fast. Um, today at work was slower than usual, so I had some time to read, uh, a little bit of time to read off and on and I ended up reading 500 page, not 500, oh my gosh, I'd be done with it, <laughs> 50 pages in uh, Persuasion and I'm really getting into it and things got crazy in that one too, which is like things getting crazy in a Jane Austen book is a completely different kind of things getting crazy than in a Robin Hobb book, but you know, by Jane Austen st standards, crazy things. Anyways, so I'm enjoying that and I'm really getting excited about watching the adaptation, which I did get from the library. Thank you everybody for that suggestion. I was able to pick that up from the library, so I have that to watch this weekend. And yeah, once I finish those, I have been reading on Mr. Penundrum and Penumbrum. I can never say that right, um, but I'm really liking that one too. So I had a great TBR for this um, readathon. I have, I'm about halfway through Americana and I keep kind of dipping in and out of it. I didn't read any of it today because I was reading more of Jane Austen because I was kind of in the mood for that today. But I will hopefully get back to that tomorrow. And I'd like to really, really like to finish that before the end of the readathon, but I'm not sure I will just because it's still like 300 pages or something to go. So we shall see. But yeah, I am, I'm having a good readathon. I'm reading a lot of things that I'm really enjoying and that's always fun. So I finished a book. So I finished my audiobook, um, Ship of Magic, which obviously I had been listening to well before the book 2 -athon, but I did finish it today, or last night, I guess, on the way home from work, and I am very excited about it. I was kind of surprised when it ended, because it just sort of like abruptly ended. It didn't feel like the end of a book. Um, so I am very interested to pick up the next one and continue on with the trilogy and see what is gonna happen to everybody because crazy things went down at the end. So yeah, I may try to get that downloaded this morning before I head off to work so I can start listening to it today. Um, I read a little bit more in Persuasion. I'm gonna try to read some more of that this morning. And then I didn't touch any of my books when I got home because I basically went straight to sleep. Um, after our Poke date, which was so much fun. And it's crazy how many people are playing Pokemon Go because we were sitting at um, the museum in our, like up in the art district in our town. And it was just like hordes of people sitting there. And some guy was like, Team Valor! And everybody booed him. And they said, Team Mystic. And everybody cheered. And I was like, hey, yeah, we're on the right team. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we had a lot of fun doing that and I have just not got as much reading done as I would like to get gotten done this week. But I anticipate today is probably gonna be a little slower at work as well. So hopefully I'll get a good chunk of Persuasion read in my downtime today and I can get that finished because I really, really wanna watch that adaptation this weekend. So my goal is to definitely finish at least that book additionally this week if I don't finish any other books. Hi, buddy. <laughs> so I've got my unicorn onesie on can't see it. My unicorn onesie on. And it's like almost 11 o'clock. It's 11 o'clock. I don't know. I've been a terrible vlogger during this entire readathon because I feel like I'm at work just constantly or sleeping. That's pretty much it. Um, but I am about 60, almost 70% through with Persuasion. So I'm going to read a little bit more of it now and hopefully I can finish that tomorrow morning, tomorrow afternoon, so that I can then watch the adaptation tomorrow night. 
I am gonna curl up in my onesie and read some more and probably pass out pretty soon because I'm tired. I finished it! And then tonight, I'm gonna watch the movie adaptation. I should have kissed the thing. Nothing would ever separate us. And then we'd rather be able to turn back and then driven safely by somebody else. Fine words. The movie was really good. I liked it. They changed some random things, like a couple of names I think they changed, which I always think it's strange when they change a name in a movie because it's kind of like, what was the point of that? Like, I don't know. I always think that's strange. Um, but it was really good. The story was a little more fast-paced than the book, obviously, uh, since it's a movie, but I liked it. Um, her sister, the oldest sister, was like 10 times worse in the movie than she was in the book and I hated her in the book and then the, the um the younger sister I think she's the youngest sister I don't remember um is just like hilarious she's exactly what I had pictured from the book and I loved that she's just ridiculous um I also though it was one of those where it's like Captain Wentworth is supposed to be so handsome I just did not think he was good looking at all, so I didn't like that casting. And Anne was pretty plain, but like in that like quaint, pretty British plain kind of way, I guess. Like British movie plain kind of way. I don't know. Like it was very Jane Austen the way Anne looked, but I, I didn't think she was like gorgeous. And the dad and the elder sister are supposed to be like really beautiful to look at and both of them I thought were not attractive people at all so I thought that was kind of funny so I actually thought that the older sister was the friend so there's like the friend who's supposed to be like snaggletooth or something and I definitely thought the older sister was the friend and so when I realized that she was supposed to be the pretty one I was like whoops <laughs> But yeah, I enjoyed the movie, and I liked wa reading the book and then watching the movie right after it. It was a fun perspective. Um, I wouldn't do that with most movies, but with Jane Austen adaptations, I think that's fun. What are you doing? Well, it is the last day of the Booktubeathon, and it is almost 7 o'clock, and it's the first time that I have at all picked up my camera to vlog. Um, I haven't done a whole lot of reading today either. I spent a lot of time organizing pictures on my computer. Um, that was kind of the bulk of what I did this morning. Um, but I have done a little bit of reading. Um, let's see. So I read some in Mr. Prenumbrans last night. I'm like 63 pages into it. Um, so I did in fact only read this after dark, but it also meant that I only read 63 pages of it, whereas I probably would have read more if I'd read it um, during the day as well. So I'm gonna probably continue to read on this in the next week. Um, and then I picked up a book not on my TBR, but that can stand in for a couple of the challenges as well. And that is Thanks for the Trouble by Tommy Wallach. Um, this one could obviously stand in for Yellow on the cover, but it also could stand in for a book by a favorite author of mine because even though Tommy Wallach has only had one other book, it was my favorite book of 2015. It was uh, We All Looked Up. And I've only read about 40 pages in this, and I already really, really love it. He just has such a relatable writing style, and it's just super engrossing and just like, I don't know, real, and I love it. I think this cover is hideous, and I wish they would have given it a better cover, but the book itself is really interesting, and I'm having a lot of fun reading it, and I definitely am going to be reading this. This is probably what I'm going to take to work to read because it's got um, shorter chapters, which is a lot easier to read in small bursts, which is the way I can read at work. And also, I'm really super interested in it, so I want to I wanna read it right now. Um, so yeah, I have done pretty much... The only reading I've done today was reading in that one, and I don't think I read anything else, no. Um, I did download the second book in the Live Ship Traders trilogy, but I haven't started listening to it yet. Um, I also downloaded the audiobook for, um, oh goodness, uh, and then there were none by Agatha Christie, and I started listening to the first part of it, 
and um, I was really tired and I fell asleep on the couch and then I was like oh well what did I miss probably a lot so I'm gonna start that one over again and listen to it I'm probably gonna listen to that this week in the car just because I am like I love listening to Robin Hobbs books in the car on audiobook but they take a long time to get through the one book so I I don't know I just kind of want to want to listen to a shorter audiobook right now and then once I finish that one which it's only about five and a half hours I think so um, I should actually be able to finish that pretty quickly so maybe just in next week or um, even before the end of the week I'm not sure anyways that's completely irrelevant to this video I kind of failed at vlogging this weekend just because I was kind of relaxing and not really doing a whole lot and definitely not doing as much reading as I should have considering it was not only book two but 24 and 48 and I can absolutely say I did not read 24 hour, hours in 48 hours so I think the cat wants me to be quiet <laughs> story of my life. Anyway, so I have had a really good booktubeathon and I hope you guys have as well, but I'm going to call this a vlog. It's already super long. I've been editing it today too and yikes. Sorry guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to wrap it up now and again, I hope you guys are having a good day.